lot of stuff to talk about. First, I'm still demonized here on YouTube. And, what? No, I'm sorry, demonetized here on YouTube. And yeah, I'm not making any money off my stupid little videos. Not that I made very much money to begin with. I made a few cents here, I made a few cents there, and now they've made me totally senseless. It's not fair, man! So they took away what little fun that I had. I'd make videos and go, hey, I just made a nickel this month. That's awesome! But now it's like, hey, I just made a lot of videos and I ain't getting nothing for it! Now, I'm not saying I don't like seeing the views, and looking back on my videos is kind of fun. But come on, man! I was making money and now they're taking it away. Now, I could be like everybody else on YouTube and set up a Patreon account and beg all of you people out there to give me money, but I doubt you have any money either, so I don't know what the heck YouTube's doing. Now, there's that. Now, the second thing is, I actually made a commentary for The Last Jedi. Yep, in my stupid little voice that I use right now in this video. Now, I actually made it full length and everything, and it's not really, you know, like a commentary where you'll learn anything. It's just my ramblings. I didn't write a script or anything. I just turned on the movie and I started talking. That's it. But you know what? Now I can't download the stupid video clip, so I don't know what's going on. Something went wrong, and I ah, I still have the video clip, so maybe I can find a way to download it. So if any of you out there would like to hear a stupid commentary by me for The Last Jedi, arguably the greatest movie ever made, it's not. But you know what? Hey, listen, seriously, if you'd like to see it, hey, put a little comment down there. Down there. Right down there. And say, hey, I'd like to see it. Because I like to see it, too. I got I, I just got to figure out a way to put it on here. But you know what? I've listened to it a couple of times. There's some funny moments. You might like it. And number three. Toys R Us is officially going out of business. Now, what the heck, man? Seriously. Toys R Us has been around, like, forever. And you know what? Now they're going to take it away. It's one of the few things on this planet I actually enjoy. And for an evil guy like me who hates everything, seriously... All I had was making YouTube videos, you know, I had, you know, watching Star Wars movies and, and, and going to Toys R Us and I'm starting to see a pattern here. Well, you know what, look, since Toys R Us is going out of business, I was like, oh, man, I hope I'm able to get all the stuff I wanted there before they go out of business and I'm not able to get it anymore. Like NECA figures. What's going to happen when, you know, Toys R Us goes under? Where am I going to buy NECA figures? That's not fair, man. You can't go to Target and buy them. You can't go to Walmart. Well, I mean, you can buy the Walking Dead ones and stuff like that. Maybe a few of the uh, McFarlane figures and stuff. But that's not fair, so I don't know. But you know what? Hey, they're going to take it away. But there was one thing in particular that I was really hoping that I was able to get before the store went under. And guess what? I was actually able to get it. We only found it at one Toys R Us. All the other Toys R Uses just don't seem to have it around here. And I was really hoping I could find it. And I was really hoping I could get it at a good discount. We really didn't get it for much of a discount. But you know what? Hey, look. My wife actually stopped at a Toys R Us today on the way home. And she picked it up for me. So today's review won't be a very good review. But it's going to be a review on the following... Today's review will be fresh from Toys R Us, and I'm gonna miss that giraffe. This is on the Hasbro Legend Series Guardians of the Galaxy Star Lord Electronic Helmet. Straight from Peter Quill's closet on the Milano, or I don't know, behind his right ear. I, I, I don't know. Anyways, here we have Star Lord's helmet, and man, oh man, this is something that I have wanted since I first saw it announced on the internet. And then when I saw it in the stores, I was like, I gotta have that, man, I gotta have that. But I've only seen this at Toys R Us. I'm sure you can buy it online. I've checked it, you know, checked for it on eBay and stuff, but it's always, it's so expensive. But you know what? I was like, I hope I'm able to get that before Toys R Us goes under. And like I said, every Toys R Us around here, they just seemed to be vanishing, and there was only two left. One of which was in a box that was totally destroyed, and this one, which is slightly destroyed. But you know what? Hey, this is awesome. Check that out. It looks like the prop straight from the movie, and I hope it looks that good inside of the box. Now, I've seen a few reviews for this thing. And I cannot wait to see this thing open. It's so awesome looking. Now, as you can see over here, it says that it has built-in speakers. And a lot of other languages, I guess, comes through the speakers. That's kind of weird. Over here, it also says, warning, this is not a protective device. Oh, I disagree, for when I put this on, I shall fly through the galaxy, either destroying it or saving it. Who knows? Over here on the other side, we have another picture of his mask head-on, and that is awesome. So let's flip it around and check out the back, shall we?
So, here's the back of the box right here. You've got the Guardians of the Galaxy logo, Star-Lord's name again, and then there's the mask. Now, you can see how it opens up there. You unhinge that back, and you stick your big old head in there, and then you close it up. And as you can see, the eyes light up, and that is so cool. Now, from what I've seen in reviews, they light up like three different ways, I think. Really bright, kind of bright, and then a uh, little dim, I think, and then off, or something like that. Maybe just bright and kind of bright. Over here, it talks about how you can open it. It has the adjustable straps, blah, blah, blah. Sound effects. Ooh, I can't wait to hear that. And down here, built-in speakers yet again. And that is awesome. Like I said, I hope it looks this good because, man, this is awesome. On this side of the box over here, it's the same old thing from the other side. And as you can see, more battle damage. Nope, that's tape. I thought it was dented in. But, yeah, this was the only one that was worth getting. And, man, oh, man, I cannot wait to see it. So let's flip it back around to the front, shall we? Now, like I said, this isn't going to be much of a review, but man, I cannot wait to open it, so I say we open it! Oh man, the mask looks amazing, doesn't it? No, I'm sorry, that's just a picture on the front of the box. Anyways, when you open up the flap, this is what you see inside. Oh, cardboard, and man, oh man, it looks like it's well protected. So let's pull it out, shall we? So, here's how it looks when it's removed from the package, and I, that is awesome, man. It is very well packed. I cannot wait to see it. You get a little bit of a hint right there, and it looks amazing. Now, I know in a lot of reviews, they don't show this kind of stuff. Most people just skip this and go straight to the whatever's inside of the box, but I like seeing stuff like this. So, that's kind of cool. So, let's remove it from this and see what the mask looks like. So, here's Star-Lord's mask, still wrapped in plastic like it came straight out of Dexter's kill room. So, let's remove this plastic and see what it looks like. And to say it looks awesome would be an understatement. Check that out. It looks like it stepped right off of the screen, doesn't it? That is so cool. Man, that looks so awesome. Now, I know in the movie, some of this silver stuff down here looked like it was made out of metal and junk like that. But you know what? Hey, it probably wasn't. It was probably just painted more shiny and stuff like that. This looks good enough to me and looks amazing. Now, I was actually wondering if it came with instructions and I couldn't find them anywhere in the package. The instructions are actually packed inside of the mask, as you can see there. Which makes it kind of hard to lay it flat, but hey, whatever. Now, on the inside of the instructions, it tells you how to put in the batteries, which you definitely need, how to turn it on after you put the batteries in, and how to adjust both the chin strap and the back of your head strap. And lastly, on the back of the instructions, it shows you which button to hit to make all the magic happen, which ironically is right where his right ear would be, just like in the movie, so that is very cool. Now, one of the things that I never noticed about his mask before is, look at that, the little shape around that button is the exact shape of the thing that goes behind his ear in the movie, and that is so cool indeed. But enough of these instructions, let's check out the mask, shall we? Because this thing looks absolutely amazing, and like I said, I've been wanting it for a long time, so I can't believe it's sitting here in front of me. And I haven't even seen what it can do yet. I just like the way it looks, and that is awesome. Now, turning the mask to look at it from the right side, you can see right there that little gold button, I believe, is where you push the, you know, thing to get it to activate. You got the little thing that looks like it goes behind his ear. You got all these connector tubes and stuff and all the details, and that is so cool indeed. You can see it's got some scuffing, like the paint and stuff, and that's cool. The back of it isn't snapped into place, so that would actually be flush and stuff, but now it's not pressed into place yet. And then inside there, look at all that detail that they didn't need to do. I mean, that is amazing. The only thing they could have done better is paint it silver or something but you know what that is so cool now looking at the mask from behind and there's some gold designs and details and stuff and that's very cool and if you look right there in the black part of the square in the middle i thought that was an autobot symbol for a second i don't know what that is it's like the pattern on the inside of the helmet is actually showing through the back so that's kind of cool that is actually very neat but yeah when i saw it i was like is that an autobot symbol what is that but you know what? Since uh, Peter Quill is from the 80s, I'm pretty sure he would enjoy that. Don't you agree? Down inside here, it looks like what Anakin Skywalker saw when he got turned into Darth Vader, and that is awesome. You can see the little red eyes there, all the little doodads. You can see the chin strap hanging down there. Yeah, all this detail just looks very cool indeed. Now, here's the inside of the back plate right here. You can actually see that's the symbol or whatever that etched-in design there is what's shining through on the back. And that's kind of weird. But down here, you can see all the little details and stuff, and that looks very cool. 
But as cool as all those details are, all the best details are on the front of the mask. Check that out. His mouth there looks like part of a Metaluna mutant's face. Check that out. <laughs> And once you see that, you'll never unsee that. But you know what? I absolutely love it. Down here, it looks like he's got a Stormtrooper mask or something. That's pretty cool. It's got the little vent things that they have. Man, that is so awesome. I love those little details there. Yeah, this looks very cool indeed. And like I said, I haven't even put batteries in it. So why don't we do that now, shall we? Honestly, I'm just glad that I had batteries. Because if I hadn't, this review would be a lot shorter and a lot stupider. Now, according to the instructions, this is the on-off button to activate the Bluetooth wireless technology detection. Okay. The only thing that I own that's actually Bluetooth is my PlayStation 3 remote. So, this won't do me a bit of good. Now, I don't know if the uh, helmet itself has sound effects or plays music or anything on its own, or if it just reads whatever Bluetooth thing you activate to work with it, you know, I guess like your phone or whatever. I have no clue. I don't know how this newfangled stuff works. So I don't know if this thing actually plays sound or whatever. I know it'll do lights and stuff, but I don't know if it actually has sound, so we're going to have to figure that out here in a second. So here we go. Let's test that little gold button right there and see what happens, shall we? And yes, Virginia, we do get sound effects. Oh, and check out those red eyes. That is amazing. Now, when you push the button a second time, it dims the lights. A third time, looks like it turns them off entirely. And going back to pushing the button, yep, there was a fourth one. So that was super dim. So let's turn off the lights here and check it out. Turn off the lights and push the button. And that is so cool because it looks like a reflector from an old bicycle or something. That is very neat. Push them again. Push them again. Push them again. And they're off. And that is awesome. And here they are from the front. And you can barely see it because the light's still shining on it. And then we make them dimmer, dimmer, dimmer. And now they're off. No, they're back on. <laughs> So let's check it out with the lights off, shall we? Because I think this is the way you're supposed to enjoy these eyes. So let's see what it looks like. Activate! Very cool indeed. That is so awesome. And I cannot believe that this actually functions. I mean, you can look through it and everything. That is awesome. Let's hit the button again. And again. And again. And now they're off. Now, I gotta say, having that built-in Bluetooth technology thing is really cool, but doesn't do me a bit of good. And I'd rather it had played like a sound clip of like Hooked on a Feeling or maybe like Chris Pratt's voice or something. But, you know, hey, whatever. At least it makes the sound effect of his mask forming around his uh, face, you know, when the eyes come on. And that is very cool. And having those light-up eyes, it just looks so amazing. This mask is very cool. So, I say we waste no more time and see how this mask looks with me wearing it. And man, oh man, it's a great disappointment. This thing doesn't fit me at all. That sucks. Foo reviews. <laughs> Hey, this is Nolan North. You don't want to miss Foo Reviews.